Charles and I set for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as we get a peek some of the stars in today's game. Well, will they be stars? Will you be a star? We'll find out. Let's play. Santa Clara. Terrific running there to start the drive as that's going to go for 15 and a quick first down as well. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now a carry for Blunt. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And a first hookup with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. And he will have a Patriots first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Play action. Now it's Brady. He'll let this go for the end zone. And Owen will be intercepted. Picked off by Robert Alford. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Here's Vic following the interception. Eluding the pressure. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Willie McGinnis able to get him for a loss of about three. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early. And I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. They will indeed go for it. Vic. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, look at the juke. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Not sure how you feel about it, but to me, I think we're seeing it in front of our eyes. 
Dallas. This league continues to change. Look at the moves you ordinarily get from a running back from the quarterback position. Yeah, that's like a, a Le'Veon Bell type move right there. But you, you're exactly right. The game's kind of evolving in that way, isn't it? Yeah, I think the quarterback is rapidly becoming an extra running back as well. Try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. To throw, Vic. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A big play that time through the air. 34 yards. That's a real nice job right there, working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. They'll run on first down with Moss. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. We're scoreless after one. Second down, Vic, and finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Like so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. A give running right Moss. Ooh, the juke. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Vic readies to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by the 13-time Pro Bowler, Ray Lewis. And the Patriots are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Well, a shaky start for both quarterbacks now. We have the interception on the opening drive, and now they throw it right back to him. So does that mean we're really kind of starting from the beginning, Brandon, right? Both of them have done it, so we kind of start from scratch. Looks to me like both of these defenses have done their homework, and they're executing quite well. They'll begin here with Blunt. And a short three-yard pickup gets him up to the 15. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Got a man, it's Michael Irvin. The ball comes out, and now this is scooped up by the 49ers. So, partner, that ball broke huge. And when you can get a guy into the open field after the catch, he does actually turn into a running back. But in this case... That's not his role. No, not, not, not ultimately, because he didn't do what? He didn't secure the football. And if he had done that, that play would have been spectacular. Instead, he turns it over. Yeah, a big play, all for not. Vic now, after the fumble recovery, flushed out right. And he's got his man on the out route. A gain of six there on first. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 17, here's second and four. Vic to throw it. 
Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Now here's Vic. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He's sacked. Teddy Bruschi drops him for a long. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half. Fourth down. And it's caught over the middle. Hooper. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Throwing Vic. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. Another try after the first down sack. Vic. Slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Randy Moss taking it in from four yards out as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Extra point just does sneak over the ball. Now, 7-0 game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Pats at the line ready to go. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by the linebacker, Corey Littleton. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Flush to his right. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think we can all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Vic dancing to his left. slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter.
From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Back to throw. Vic. Forced out to his left. And he wisely will throw that one away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and 10. From the gun, Vic. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. To Mark from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. still remain we step aside welcome back halftime over we are ready for quarter number three alongside charles davis i'm brandon gordon it's the 49ers out in front and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half taking it about the one and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26 yard line San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the former 49er, Deion Sanders. And the Pats are going to get it back here just past the 35. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even far behind and we've gotten to know this team a little bit haven't we couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys telling the quarterback don't worry we got you to start things off you take it from there and he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six the last run got six now second and four to throw is Brady he's got his tight end Frank Whitecheck when an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. On first and 10, here's Brady. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Throwing on first down is Brady. That'll be caught by Rice. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. But look what we have here, a sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. Brady now on first down. That's caught by Irvin. And out of bounds right around the 20. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside, and two minutes to go now in the third. Again, they'll throw with Brady. They'll get it to Irvin, right side complete. 
A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Touchdown! Michael Irvin from 13 yards out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. Nick Folk for the point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown. So 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. Play action now, Vic. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Vic goes play action. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Play fake, Vic. Oh no, he lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football. Wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. They'll give this to Moss running right. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. They'll go again here with Moss. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Fourth down, Vic. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by the former 49er, Deion Sanders. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. Here's Brady to throw. He completes it over the middle to Michael Irvin. 
They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Simple drag route here. Lined up out left. He tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. And he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on the football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. They went up. All the way in. Touchdown, New England. LeGarrette Blunt. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Vic. Buying time to his left. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Third and short, going with their tight end. And not going to be able to push this forward. He runs into a wall right at the line of scrimmage. And he's going to have his running back. It's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Vic to throw. Escaping the pressure. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now the Niners going to single for their third and final timeout. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Still 15 yards to go, second down. Now Michael Vick. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Ty Law. And the Patriots have just about sewn up this football game. Agreed, that's twice now.